Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today I'm showing you a 2017 R-Pod made by R-Vision. Um, uh, oh, excuse me, R-Pod made by Forest River. Um, this is actually locally made here in the Hood River area here in Oregon. Um, this guy here is an 18-footer. It is the RP180, RP180. It's an 18-foot box here. Um, if you're measuring tongue to bumper, probably a little bit longer. They don't include the tongue here. Um, speaking of the tongue, you do have a powered tongue, nice little light here. Uh, you don't have to crank anything. That's going to go right up for you. And you've got the little aftermarket footer there um, that will swing down and swing up so you don't have to raise it up and lower it quite as much. As you get closer to the ground, swings down, saves you about six inches. Um, you have a seven gallon propane tank, dual batteries up front here with a nice easy shutoff. Uh, stabilizer jacks on all four corners. These little guys are great. They're really made kind of for any area, but they're made specifically for the Pacific Northwest with their sidewalls, um, their seals. They really tend to not leak and they're just good for kind of rugged terrain. Um, so good storage down below here. A couple little tools there. Oh, and let me point out, because I love these things, magnetic latches. latches. It's just nice when you have your hands full to be able to just get it up there without having to latch anything, use both hands. A um, couple of speakers here for outside. You'll see you do have the rail there for uh, aftermarket awning if you wanted to add something onto it. And the one down below, you can kind of use it for like a screen room if you wanted to buy a little something extra and have a little outdoor space on something like this. Um, we do have the more rugged off-road tires there. Um, good size for this rig. Let me see, they are 235s in height on a 15-inch wheel. Um, nice base, kind of a mud tire style there. Uh, more storage, moving to the back here. Power cord, but good little storage box there. And to the far back, we have our full-size spare. Good to have, especially on a dual axle, or on a single axle with just two tires. You're gonna want um, to keep a spare with you. Moving here, this is our, our flush tank. Not something you like to think about when you're shopping, but really helpful as an owner. Um, keep those sensors clean in your black tank, the, the dirty tank and uh, keep it cleaned up, keep smells out, keep sensors clean, just keep it a little bit newer feeling and smelling. Um, power hookups there and a nice easy access to your dump station down below. Um, we do have an outdoor shower here on the slide. So what I see a lot of people doing is setting up a little wood box they carry with them. You step on it, use your outdoor shower. Um, when you're out camping, that's kind of seems more appropriate to me, but to each their own. Um, here we just have vents for the refrigerator, our furnace vent, water heater, this is going to be your uh, potable holding water tank and then city water if you're at a park or anywhere with a hose that you could hook right up to. Um, this rig comes in at about 2,800 pounds dry. Um, let me see if it'll give me a payload on here. Um, you can carry about 900 pounds of weight inside of it. So that's while traveling. Of course, if you have a big family and, and you're going to be more than that when you park, that's fine. But that's where we're at with that. So any small SUV um, all the way up to, you know, big gigantic trucks, you're going to pull this thing no problem at all. Um, but let's go check out the inside. <laughs> All right. So you come on in. First, I'll show you. Eh, might be a couple little drawers here. Easy access. Kind of a jacket closet there. Pretty good in size. And then my preferred setup is what this one currently has, is the uh, the rear bath. You get a little bit better space, plenty of room at the commode. Um, good size vanity, and you can stand up in that shower. Um, I'm about 6'2", 6'3", with my boots on, and I fit in there, no problem. Your water heater on this is gas and electric, so if you're plugged in, you're not wasting propane. If you're boondocking, you got hot water. Uh, we got a nice little two burner stove there with the splash guards. Stainless steel sink, single den, stainless steel sink. Uh, nice design on the on the counter there. And then a couple of drawers, good storage for um, pots, things like that. Your bigger items down below there. Um, your little dinette here will turn down into a bed. Obviously a smaller bed, just by the size of it. Um, you do have a three-way fridge here. So this is gas, um, electric, 110, and then also 12-volt power will keep this thing cold. Uh, microwave and convection oven here. So in a really small form factor, you end up getting really everything you're going to get into the bigger ones plus a 12-volt fridge, which is something you don't see in the bigger ones. 
because our vision really started as to drop small little trailers and as they've gotten bigger they haven't lost their ability to put you know all items into a small area so they make this 18 foot trailer seem very very usable with a lot of good space in it um, here you'll see we have good storage I don't know if you can see that in the video but good storage down below the bed there and then a full-size queen in the bed there so you're not giving up bed space by going smaller um, it is a comfortable bed it's a great place to lay your head down there's two of you um, plenty of room queen size bed so um, here we have a DVD radio CD player mp3 player Bluetooth um, that'll play on all the speakers throughout here it will play DVDs straight through to the TV um, hook up to your outside cable hookups you can watch TV outside watch DVDs through here on the outside TV if you wanted to do that um, we do have this little TV on a mount here got it strapped in right now but great features on this thing um, we do have the fantastic fan right above you take my word for it it's an awkward angle in the camera but those things push a lot of air out especially on a hot day where you just need to cool this place down before you even turn on your AC those fans are your best friends but here we have 13,000 BTU um, uh, I believe it's Dometic Dometic air conditioning unit that will just run on 110 so that's when you'll need a generator or shore power for pretty standard for a motorhome and then you'll see just more storage up above here there's no wasted space on this thing i guess you can't see it from that angle that's okay and then of course you do have a gas furnace on this bad boy too so winter camping or stay nice and warm again i already mentioned it um because they're made here locally in oregon they're kind of set up for our climate uh so those kind of long dreary cold months that we have here they're insulated well the furnace is strong and uh, they're going to hold the heat in here really really well with the quality materials that this thing's made with on its shell so a bunch of big pluses here um, and then just throughout it the more time you spend in here the more storage you'll see just some down below the slide there and it just it uses its space beautifully so um, it's been really well taken care of I, pardon me if I'm forgetting to tell you it's a 2017 um, R-Pod it's the again it's the RP 180 so an 18 footer uh, coming in about 2800 pounds um, these things are selling super quick um, they're really hard to find this kind of form factor in a trailer especially in this quality so if you guys are watching this video you're looking for something you might want to go ahead and jump on it and uh, just see what kind of what kind of deal we can make you on it so again 2018 our vision or excuse me I always say our vision 2017 our pod uh, RP 180 is what we're in right now so if you guys have any questions my name is Robbie here at RV sales of Oregon uh, get a hold of me or one of my co-workers and we can tell you all about it if you need to know more or just come on in and take a look and, and we can send you home in this bad boy. So thank you guys for checking out the video and I look forward to meeting you soon.